Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel where today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Dremel Cordless uh, 8260. Uh, to start off with, can I give a huge thanks to Dremel for sponsoring me um, and hopefully I'll be doing lots of projects with the Dremel over the next few months. So we'll just change camera and we'll get on with the unboxing. And here it is. Um, I've gone for the uh, 8260, the Platinum Edition, so it comes in a nice presentation box. It comes with 65 accessories on this, so we'll just get it taken out of the box. Put the box to one side. Oh, not the camera. Sorry about that. There we are, and we'll just get it opened up. Like I say, nice presentation box with this. And inside we have some paperwork, instructions on how to link it to your phone. This one is Bluetooth, um, and I'll explain a bit about that a bit later on. You get a sheet which shows all the different accessories you can get with this. Um, also a comprehensive instruction manual and inside the box we have the unit itself the Dremel 8260 uh, you've got a lock button here for putting the for screwing off the collar chuck and um, you've got a collar which you can actually screw off for putting different accessories onto the unit on off switch speed control and um, the battery charger shows how much uh, battery life you have left. And also um, a hanging bracket if you're using the flexi shaft on this as well. It comes with two 12-volt um, lithium-ion batteries. It comes with the, the battery charger. Um, there's one accessory in the top. I'll just plug in one of these batteries. That's the battery plugged in. Switch on and off. This is showing two bars on the battery. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this or not. Um, this one, the 8260, has a brushless motor, so it's a lot quieter than the, the, the brushed ones. Um, and like I say, it is Bluetooth, but we'll come on to that in a minute. I'll pop that back into there. It's also got a drawer on the front, and what I'll do, I'll just turn this round, and I'll change camera, so hopefully you can see that a little bit better. There you go. Right, the first accessory in the top, this is a, a sanding guard, so you actually fasten this onto the, the front. I'll just show how that's done. You take this collar off. Does come off past that collar. So you take that collar off and you screw on the sanding bracket. Sorry, this the sanding guard. And that screws on like that. And you can actually put this in different areas depending on where you want to have it. We'll just screw that back off. So that's used with the likes of the sand and drums and things like this. Pop that back into there. It also comes with a um, multi-purpose cutting kit. So again, this will screw on to where the collar sits. That screws on like that. So you've got your cutter in there and you can have the, the uh, cutting guide on there. This has also got a height adjuster as well. So it's got the wee martens on there for the different heights you can get with that. Screw that back off. Pop that back into there. 
And this, again, this is a, a, a sanding one where you screw this on. Again, this has got a height adjuster as well. And this would have a sand and drum in and you can actually put it up, sorry, you can put it up against something and get a nice straight line sanding. Pop that back. No. Sorry, the height adjuster stuck on there. I'll just pop that back into there like that. There we are. It's got a detail handle uh, for when you want to do some detail work. So that just sits over there and you've got a spare collar in here for fastening that on like that. So that means you've got a, a nice pistol grip for when you're doing any, I think I've got that on the wrong way around, hang on. You've got a nice pistol grip for when you're doing any detail stuff. Take that off. Pop that back into there. And it also comes with a straight line and cutting jig as well. So again, this fastens on. like that and to use the circle jig now this has come with the point upside down for obviously for storage so what you do is you turn that around so the point is facing down the way and if you put it in one way around like this now it goes uh, in inches along here and the final one is 12. So this will do a 12 inch circle with the, the point, sorry, the sun's getting in the way, with the point that way around. And if you turn it round, turn the point round so it is in the other direction. Fasten that back on again. That will take it, see this how the points moved, that will take it to nine inch. It's got millimeter um, or centimeters on the side, on both sides and inches on the top. So that's for doing the circle. If you want to do a straight line cut, what you do is you take off the circle attachment and you fasten on the straight line bracket. So that fits into there again, screw it in like that. And then you can set up for your, doing your straight lines at whatever distance you want to have them. This will flip around the other way as well. So that's the cir circle cutting jig. I'll just take that back off for storage. There you go, that stores in there like that. Put this back on for storage as well. Unscrew it. Again, this has got a, sorry, I should have said, this has got a, a height adjuster on this as well, depending on what accessory you're actually using. That slots back into its box there. Stick that back there. I'll put the original collar back onto this. Put that back into its slot. So the accessories you get, you get a couple of, you can't really see them, I'll take them out of the packaging. So these are side cutting bits for use with the uh, multi-purpose 
one there. You've got the um, speed click. Speed clicks are absolutely brilliant. It's a quick change thing. So this has got metal cutting discs in here. And this is a push and click. So you push it down. Just bring that down a bit. That pushes down and twists and locks into place. So that's your disc locked into place there. So you get metal cutting discs on this. You can get the wood cutting bits for it. Comes back out, put that back in its box. That's the speed click. And you also get a nice decent accessory pack as well. So in here you've got different size collets. You've got uh, sanding drums, polishing discs, uh, cleaning discs, cutting discs, a couple of carving bits in there as well. So a good accessory pack that comes with it as well. Now I have got my phone here. Now what I've done, I've already set up um, Dremel on here. So it's just trying to link into the Dremel. Right, so it's actually shown. So on there, I'd, the light's not that good. I can just see it there. It's shown the battery at 50%. And what you can do on this, let's see if this is better on the overhead. What you can do on this is link in, the light's not that good, but what you do is you put in what type of material you're going to be working with, what application you're going to be doing. So if I put in hardwood, because I use a lot of hardwoods, put in the application, um, carving and engraving, and it'll find the accessories so it's actually shown all the accessories that I could use for doing any carving and engraving. And then I can select the um, accessory type. We'll go for the structured tungsten um, carbide carving bits. See result, and it's actually telling me there on here. I'm really sorry about this picture. It's getting bleached out a bit. But it's telling me on here which bits I could actually use for doing any carving with the carbide bits. So that's quite a, a good thing to have. So you have got the dashboard on there. It gives you, uh, it looks at the accessory guides and everything on there. There's a support button as well for getting in touch with um, Dremel. And you can put your own profile in there as well. So that's a, a good thing to have in case you're wondering what type of bits to use, uh, your battery uh, life that's left and everything like that. So I'll just take this battery back out, slot that back into there, put the unit back in, and there we have it, guys. A nice tool I'll be doing good few projects with this over the next few weeks let's just move this paperwork out the way change camera so that's it that's the the cordless uh, Dremel 8260 uh, a very good package to have you don't have to obviously you don't have to buy the um, the platinum edition you can buy the just the unit itself and uh, build up from there I hope you enjoyed that and I will catch you on the next one.